football record here with Ben Allen and Johnny Worsfold, the two captains. And then inside football, the Dockers up against the Eagles, a match on Sunday afternoon that's going live right around Australia, including in Perth. And it's our pleasure tonight to have the two captains. We thank them very much. John Worsfold from the West Coast Eagles and Ben Allen. Thanks, guys, for giving up your time tonight. Firstly, to you, John, uh, I saw Mickey Malthouse uh, interview during the week. He was asked if it was a grand final-type build-up. He said, you don't play in many grand finals, not quite a grand final, but what is the build-up like for the West Coast Eagles? The build-up um, in terms of the media coverage has been pretty huge, and I think it's the media just doing their job and giving the public what they want. The, the people of Perth have been uh, at fever pitch, I think, all week. Um, in the build-up, it's all I've been talking about, and the media have been very keen to get comments from both sides of, uh, or from both clubs, and uh, trying to feed the public what they want. And uh, I think the players and the coaches are, are definitely very keen to get into it and looking forward to the game, but just trying to play it down and, and uh, keep everything under uh, under control until uh, Sunday. Is that possible? Do you think, Ben, to keep it under control? No, it's been a bit out of control over here, Bruce, as you can imagine. Um, you didn't have to be, uh, you know, Mike Fitzpatrick to work out it was going to be a big week for WA footy when they pencilled in the schedules earlier on in the year. But um, as John said, the media has been quite big. It's reminiscent on a of a final from a, a media point of view, but uh, obviously we're just playing for the four points. You've played against the West Coast Eagles plenty of times, been in big matches for the Hawks. This, is, I guess, is a bit special for you, though, captaining the club going back home. Yeah, it is special, and, uh, you know, I have played a number of games you know, finals over here when I was with Hawthorne. So it's not overly uh, different to what I've been used to, but for a number of our young players and guys who've only played, uh, you know, six AFL games, it's a big game for them in front of a big crowd. 45,000, we expect uh, most of them to be Eagle supporters as well. What about the conditions, John? I mean, uh, it looks fine there. I know you've had a, an Indian summer. We've got pretty poor conditions in Melbourne for this weekend. Are you expecting it to be fine on Sunday? Yeah, the forecast is for it to be fine. A few more showers tomorrow, but the uh, the new surface on the ground's holding the rain extremely well. It's uh, drained it all off, and the ground's in great condition. Um, the weather sounds like it'll be fine, so everything looks pointing towards a big day. John, will you be playing? I know that you were named last night amongst the squad, uh, along with White, Harding, McKenna and Matera as coming back. Have you passed your fitness test to play? I got through training tonight, yeah. I was... Um, keen to have a run around and a, and a kick tonight and got through no problem so uh, looking forward to being out there providing uh, Mick gives me the all clear. And uh, do you know about the other, is uh, Peter Matera fit, will he play and Mitchell White? I honestly couldn't say, um, we won't find out until tomorrow night but they both trained tonight, um, I didn't have a good uh, idea of how well they went or anything but uh, I, as far as I know they're um, just about right. Ben, you had a little smile there. Mickey Malthouse wouldn't play any Ducks and Drakes, would he? I think we can assume that they'll all be fit, Bruce. Why not? What about your young team? I mean, it's, it's a good mix, isn't it, Ben? Experienced players from the AFL, including yourself and Scotty Waters, and then the, the Winston Abrahams and the Scott Chisholms that have been quite brilliant. They're not the only ones, of course. I mean, they're the two, I guess, that have caught the eye most prominently in the first half a dozen weeks. Yeah, they're very exciting, those players that you mentioned, but I think um, two players that I think shouldn't be underestimated are Peter Mann and Stephen O'Reilly, they both played uh, around 40 games for their respective clubs uh, before they joined the Dockers and, and they've been fantastic for us playing full back, Stephen obviously, and, and Peter's been alternating between centre half back and centre half forward. So, you know, I think having two big key forwards in form is, uh, is a bonus for us. John, what are the Eagles doing between now and uh, Sunday? Do you have another run at all? Do you get together? No, we don't. We'll, uh, we have a team meeting tomorrow night. That's when we sit down and look at the lineup and uh, have a chat about um, where we're playing, who we're going to likely to line up on, and um, just discuss those sort of things. Um, so that's tomorrow afternoon. So the boys have got tomorrow morning off to relax, and um, I'll probably go and have a look at my mate Summer, have a run with South Fremantle for a half, and then get back to the meeting. Yeah, Peter Summers. And what about you, Ben? What's your program? We have a, a run tomorrow morning and uh, just get a, have a bit of a stretch and get the legs going. Uh, also a meeting and then we rest up for the, for the big game. Ben, have you been surprised? I guess this is a, some people would say a silly question, but have you been surprised at the great form by Fremantle so far? Uh, initially I, I probably was, but after spending three or four months in the pre-season I realised we had a, a lot of very talented young guys coming from the waffle. Um, you know, three games from six Three wins from six games isn't such a bad start. If we win 50% of our games, it'll certainly be a, a good first year. But um, 
I think the important thing is we've got a bit of confidence with one another now and uh, we go into each game uh, expecting to have a, you know, a good chance of winning. And uh, John, uh, from the West Coast Eagles point of view, there's been a lot talked about Jared Neesham's game plan. I guess this is the big test for them. Well, it is. I think the key point of it is that uh, we're both untried against each other. You know, we haven't come up against the Dockers at all, so um, no one knows what's going to, how the game's going to pan out and how it's going to be played. And we'll, we'll know uh, obviously by Sunday afternoon. Or not, but I think the important thing is that uh, the public over here and, and all football fans around Australia are going to see an excellent game. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Thanks to both of you tonight, the two captains. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks, Johnny Worsfold and uh, Ben Allen. That's live around Australia, including Perth from Subiaco on Sunday.